Hello, my name is Kendall Kay, and my final project is over Minhua. They're basically Korean folk paintings. What is the Minhua? Minhua's, um, they're Korean folk paintings. Uh, Minhua means painting of the people or popular painting. Um, these paintings, they show the simple lives of the ordinary people. Um, Korean, or, ordinary Koreans during the jo Joensen dynasty. Um, a valuable part of, they were, it was a valuable part of their cultural heritage, their mythology, religion, mindset of the, of the people. Um, Minhua is the people that paint it are the working class during the late time of the dynasty between 1700 and 1800. Um, these um, were used to decorate the living spaces. They were very vibrant in color and unique in composition. And there are many different types of minhua according to the place and the use of the decoration. Types of minhua, there's the huajo, the huajo do, monje do, sip jang seng do, and the chek yori. The huajo do were folding screens with pairs of um, deer, rabbits, birds, butterflies, bees. They were in, they were showed in pairs of animals to symbolize happy marriage. And the theme of the loving couple was believed to encourage fertility. These decorate, these were used to decorate newlywed bedrooms or wedding ceremonies. The monjedo are screens with symbolic animals, um, birds, fish, plants, as well as um, scenes on the Chinese inographs. They showed the eight principles of Confucian morality. Each panel has a Chinese inograph with the matching design. The eight virtues were duty, friendship, loyalty, trust, courtesy, righteousness, integrity, and sensibility. Sip Jang Xiang Do is a pain, is a Minhua painting that shows the 10 elements of nature. The elements being the sun, clouds, mountain, water, pine trees, turtles, deer, cranes, peaches, <laughs> and herb of eternal youth. It was the culture, unique cultural tradition to China, I mean, to, to Korea, excuse me. Um, it was the most grand and royal of the genres, of the Minhua genre. It was used at various palace meals. The chik gyori were piles of books. They were paintings of piles of books that were used to um, create the desire for knowledge and wisdom. These objects included the four treasures of study, paper, brush, inkstone, along with flower vases, arrows, eyeglasses, musical instruments, garments. They also included fruits, vegetables, and that represent fertility and longevity. Um, Korea once ha had a lot of tigers. It was known as the land of the tigers and the tigers, the reason that Minhua show tigers is because at the time the tigers would come down and eat livestock and harm the people. And so then the they had the great idea to come up with, well, let's paint them in a funny way. So then people became less scared of them and it was more like a fun way for them to see them at the time. So they won't be so scared of them. It was more humorous. And then there were a lot of depictions of dragons, which they said they were sacred animals used to chase away evil spirits and protect people from disaster. Why did I choose this topic? Well, I like art and I like antiquity and seeing deep connections with um, cultures really fascinates me. I, I just, I don't know, I just, 
I love other cultures. They're interesting to me. Um, yeah, basically, I, I just find Asian cultures fascinating that they all connect to each other. For example, Buddhism, it's a part of not only Korea, South Korea, it's part of Japanese, Chinese, Taiwanese, Vietnamese, Thai, and some parts of Indian culture. I believe that's why people from America sometimes have trouble distinguishing between them is because they're so similar to each other. And I just added this little section because I just thought Minhua and Manhua, which is a type of cartoon, well, they're similar to each other. And I thought that was interesting considering the, mer the Manhua comes from the Chinese word Manhua, which is where manga comes from. I just thought they were interesting and similar. Um, yeah, I just thought this topic was eye-opening and I love, it was interesting how much the Korean culture derived from the Chinese culture. It's fascinating how they go hand in hand. Well, and do you believe Minhua and art made by the elites during the have a they're in the Jian dynasty have a similar value why or why not um and here are my sources thank you so much for listening and bye-bye <laughs>